this lecture we'll be taking a look at how to create a single page application using ASP.NET Core and Vue.js library. Now as we know that uh, Visual Studio 2019 does not provide a built-in template for creating single page applications using Vue. What we'll be doing over here is we'll be launching our command prompt and inside the code directory we will be first of all installing all the templates which is provided by the .NET framework. In order to do that we need to type in this command and the command is .NET new then double dash install and here we have microsoft.asp.net core spa templates. Press enter and over here once it has installed all those templates you will be able to see the one which we want to create. So here we have asp.net core with view.js and the short name is view. So in order to create a template, what we'll be doing over here is we'll say .NET new and then view. Now this is going to create a default project. So before that, let's create a directory. And now inside this directory, we'll be creating the project .NET new view. Press enter. And here you can see the template ASP.NET Core with view.js was created successfully. And it is running some post creation actions now. And here you can see the directory is also sh being shown, spare view. And if you click on this, you can see all the files being generated right now using the command line. And now that we are done with the project creation, what we need to do next is run npm install as suggested by this guide. So here we'll be going and saying npm install, press enter. Now once that's done, you need to click on this. You need to type this npm audit and press enter over here. So basically what we have done after creating the project is install all the dependencies that were required for the project to run and after that as suggested we have run this command npm audit. So it has uh, you can see found 37 vulnerabilities and out of that 8 are moderate and 12 are high. So we'll be just doing that npm audit fix and press enter now. So audit basically gives you all the vulnerabilities that are there and then when you run this command npm audit fix, it tries fixing out all these vulnerabilities automatically. And once that's done, you need to close your command prompt and here inside the project directory, you can just go ahead and launch this csproj application. Open it up in a Visual Studio IDE. And here you can see the structure is exactly the same what we reviewed in the previous lecture. Apart from that, you'll just notice one extra file over here that is webpack.config.js. Let's open it up and see it. So this webpack.config.js file basically holds all the webpack settings and it in summary has a list of all the files that it is going to compile. This includes the JavaScript file or the TypeScript files. Now let's go ahead and see other files that are created. So here we have views and these are the files created, a controller. So this one comes with an additional home controller and then we have the client app and here we have app and then counter fetch data home. So if you compare it from a react, you will see that these counter fetch data and home all are created inside a separate directory. Whereas in react, if you look, it was just inside a components directory. So components was having everything counter fetch data home. But in view, this is all separated into different directories. Now let's go ahead and uh, run this one to see it in action. And there you go. You have this single page application template created. It has got this home. Then we have counter, which is going to inc increment. And then we have fetch data, which is going to show some mock data related to temperature. And that is pretty much it about the single page application created using view.js library. In the next lecture onwards, we'll be making use of the React library to create our sample single page application.